Hello and welcome to ITV's Rugby World Cup coverage 2011. I'm Steve Ryder and I may know nothing about rugby, but I've got lovely hair. I'm joined by our distinguished panel of experts, England's World Cup winning flanker, Lawrence Delalio, Australia's World Cup winning fly half, Michael Liner, and uh, Gavin Dempsey of Ireland. Uh, Lawrence, you could have played for Ireland or indeed Italy, but you chose the route to success and the red rose of England. Um, what will it mean to the Irish and their Blarney army to get one over on the, the Welsh uh, this Saturday? Well, I mean, I suppose the thing for Ireland is that they go into this quarter-final knowing that they've got to win this game to reach the semi-final. Um, but the thing is that Wales go into the game knowing the exact same thing. So, um, most important thing is to say everything really loudly. Well, Michael, uh, the Irish team has really lifted the whole of Ireland and, of course, the Irish support in New Zealand really have provided the whole tournament with a huge amount of passion and colour, haven't they? Yes, I think the Irish have provided all the colour, but I think they've also consumed all the Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was a, that was a, a joke, by the way. Yes, indeed. Uh, recession or no recession, the Irish always love to party, don't they? <laughs> anyway, that's enough about other countries. Let's get back to England. Um, Lawrence, England, can they do it this time again? No disrespect to Ireland or Wales, but I don't think England will ever have an easy opportunity to get to the final. And uh, with uh, Dan Carter out, I think uh, England can take New Zealand in the final. You know, I mean, I... Don't mean to seem arrogant, but um, actually, fuck it, why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't you indeed? Uh, Gavin, you're shaking your head. No, I was just scratching my arse out of boredom because you never actually asked me anything. Okay, well, uh, how do you think this weekend's results will go, Michael? Well, you know, and I'm not just saying it uh, because uh, I'm in England but, uh, and like to get a lot of corporate work, but uh, I think England will beat uh, the French in, who are in disarray, I think uh, obviously Australia to beat uh, the Springboks uh, and I think the, uh, the, the Kiwis to do a job in Argentina and, and you know, Ireland versus Wales, well, <laughs> who cares? <laughs> who cares indeed. Um, you're shaking your head again, Gavin. Well, no, I, mean, I, I have to say I, I don't want to appear to be like rude but I don't fully agree with uh, what the lads have just said. I mean, Ireland you know, absolutely hammered in the last competitive fixture, you know, sorry, but, you know, they did, like... Yes, well, that's just maybe, but that's hardly relevant, Gavin, is it? Um, by the way, how does my hair look, do you think? Well, it's funny, because I was actually about to ask you the same question. I may be an excruciating bore, but I do have a fine mane of hair on my head. In fact, I've got so much hairspray in here, if I scratch my head, my fingers might dissolve. <laughs> That's all we've got time for on ITV. My thanks to Lawrence and Michael and um, uh, the Irish fellow. Uh, my name's actually Gervin. Gavin, that's right. Yes, that is all we've got time for on ITV. So from me, Steve Ryder, or as most people call me, Deslinum Light, it's goodbye. Anyone want the red kicked in? Did you have to bring up the subject of hair, by the way? <laughs> <laughs>